Ah, don't worry about it, Chief. Won't be permanent. <laughs> you want to feel something permanent? Ba ba boom. You want to feel something permanent, Mr. Hooper? Put your hand under my cap there. You feel that? Ooh. Yeah. Knock a locum. Some Paddy's Day, Boston. Yeah, I got that beat. I got that beat. You see that? More eel. Rip right through my wetsuit. Well, I don't know about that, Mr. Hooper. Mm. But I do know I entered an arm wrestling competition in an Oki bar in San Francisco. You see that? Can't extend that. Mm. You know why? Got to the semi final, celebrating my third wife's demise. Big Chinese fella tipped me right over. Yeah, you see that? Bull shark. Scraped me while I was getting samples. Yeah, okay. Uh, there, Thresher's tail. Yeah. Thresher. Thresher. Yeah, it's a shark. You want to drink to your leg? Yeah, I'll drink to your leg. Let's drink to our legs. <laughs> drink your loot, yes. Brody. I got the creme de la creme right here. You see this? Mm -hmm. See this here? Yeah. Mary Ellen Moffat. Broke my heart. <laughs> What's that? What's that one? What? That one right there on your arm. Uh, that's nothing. Yeah, it's a tattoo. Just move, move, on. move on. Don't worry. Oh, I don't know what it is. What is that? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not important. Just a hooper nose. The USS Indianapolis. So what, what happened? Oh, God, you... Japanese submarine slammed two torpedoes into our side, Chief. I was coming back from the island of Tinny and the Lady, just to live at the bomb, the Hiroshima bomb. 1,100 men went into the water. The vessel went down in 12 minutes. You can see the first shot for about half an hour. Tiger, 13 footer. You know, you know that when you're in the water, Chief, you tell we're looking from the dorsal to the tail? Well, we didn't know. Because our bomb mission was so secret, no distress signal had been sent. <laughs> They didn't even list us over to you for a week. Very first flight, Chief. The sharks come cruising. So we form ourselves into tight groups. Kind of like old squares in battle, like a... You see on a calendar. What sort of calendar? Like the... Like the Battle of Waterloo calendar. Who oh, has a Battle of Waterloo calendar? And the idea was, the shark comes to the nearest man and then he starts pounding and hollering and screaming. Sometimes the shark would go away. Sometimes he wouldn't go away. Sometimes he'd come back again. Sometimes he'd hide. Sometimes he'd go away for quite a while. He'd go to the shops. He'd come back with some crisps. Sometimes he would never go away. Sometimes that shark, he looks right into you, right into your eyes. You know the thing about a shark? You got lifeless eyes. Black eyes, like a, like a doll's eyes. Like David Mitchell's eyes. He doesn't seem to be living. What, David Mitchell? Until he bites you. And those black eyes roll over white. And then, uh, then you hear that terrible high pitch screaming and the ocean turns red. In spite of all the pounding and hollering. And they all come in and repeat their pieces. You know, by the end of that first day, lost a hundred men. Don't know how many sharks. You didn't lose any sharks? Maybe a thousand. How many men? Just said a hundred. Yeah, about six an hour. That doesn't make any sense. On Thursday morning, Chief, I bumped into a friend of mine, Herbie Robinson from Cleveland. That's that's not a real name. Baseball player. Close to me. Thought he was asleep. He thought he was asleep. In the sea. Reached over to wake him up. Bobbed up and down in the water. I've ended. Uh, maybe been bitten in half below the waist. Well, obviously, it's a shark attack. Noon the following day, Mr. Hooper, a Lockheed Ventura saw us. He swung in low and he saw us. He a young pilot. How do you know he was young? He looked young, I saw his face. He shouted out his age. What do you say? I'm a young pilot, I'm gonna go and get you rescued like an 18 year old would do. Yeah, the paint's on the inside of the plane. His date of birth was on the plane? Yeah. Anyway, he saw us and he came in low. Three hours later, a big fat PBY come down and started to pick us up. What's a PBY? Stands for PBY. What does it stand for? Peter Payne. 
paper bag. Why for yellow? Maybe a plain big yellow. Maybe a plain. Then why wouldn't they call it a BYP? It's code, military code. You're bullshit. Secret. You're a liar. Anyway, you know that was the time I was the most frightened? Waiting for my turn. I'll never put on my life jacket again. You're wearing one then. So, 1,100 men went in the water, 316 men come out, and the sharks took the rest June the 29th, 1945. The story gets worse every time I hear it. Anyway, we deliver the bomb. <sighs> What's that? You get to say it's, it's a whale. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain Shh, show me the way to go home I'm tired and I want to go to bed I had a little drink about an hour